The art of extracting your money has been perfected. By bombarding you with adverts, companies make millions. You either watch them or pay to stop them. And these ad removal subscriptions can cost hundreds a year. Or for just £15, you can build one of these. And this business model is spreading fast. Mobile games, YouTube, Spotify were just the start. Meta has just announced charging to remove ads from Instagram and Facebook. And Samsung has just confirmed they'll push ads to their $2,000 smart fridges. The problem is accelerating. Many of us thought we'd fix this problem with ad blockers, but they only work on your computer browser. But what about phone apps, smart TVs, tablet games? Nothing protects these. Installing an ad blocker on each separate device isn't just time consuming, it's complex. I mean, how do you install an ad blocker on a fridge? But that's where this comes in. It's called a pie hole, and it stops unwanted connections across your network. And the way it works is beautifully simple. When an app wants an ad, it asks your router to connect to the ad server. Pi-hole intercepts this and checks against the block list and returns a dead address, no connection, no ad. Everything else will work as normally. But it isn't just ads it protects you from. What I discovered happening in the background was even more alarming. While ads take up your bandwidth, slowing down your internet, trackers can be so much worse. Vizio will find millions secretly tracking what you watched. Samsung's own privacy policy admits it will share your conversations with third parties. Even the FBI have warned people about smart TVs spying on you. And these trackers report back to third parties, data brokers who sell your information to the highest bidder. Pihole blocks all of that. Here's how to build one. Firstly, we've got a microcontroller. I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero. Then we've got a power supply. Then we need an ethernet cable. This will connect our Raspberry Pi to our router. And then because our Raspberry Pi doesn't have an ethernet port, we've got an adapter for an ethernet port to a micro USB. Lastly, we need a micro SD card to put the software onto the Raspberry Pi. And to do that, we can use Raspberry Pi's own imager. Select which Raspberry Pi, your operating system, and the location of your SD card. Then make yourself a cup of tea while you wait for it to install. Once complete, we can put everything together. The hardware assembly literally takes 30 seconds. Plug in the ethernet adapter, plug in the power, and the SD card. Then connect your Pi to your home router. The other end of the ethernet cable can plug straight into the router, and we've even got a USB port to power the board. Setting up the hardware is just that easy. After a quick update to your Raspberry Pi, one command will install Pi-hole completely. And then we just let it run. With Pi-hole installed, you'll be able to open up your web browser and access the dashboard. Here you can view the number of ads that have been blocked and add community run block lists that will update daily as new trackers appear. Now I've got my Pi-hole up and running, let's test it. Now, it isn't always perfect. YouTube ads, for example, come from the same servers as their main videos. And so blocking one blocks both. You might find a website that you want to go to is blocked as well, but you can add this website to your whitelist and that will allow it to go through. And to be honest, after the initial setup, I hardly have any issues. Pihole for me is an absolute game changer. And when I can finally afford a smart fridge, I'll be ready for it. I've got a complete build guide in the description if you too want to take back control of your internet. Thanks very much.